everyone welcome back to our youtube channel after our last post on isaac and its integration with pixera we thought it was a good idea to share some tips and tricks with you in these videos so the first one to start with is the ability of pixera to pipe back and in the ice stream into a director unit when getting an input source only on the client device. So I will, let me sketch that a bit better for you. So in this situation here, we have our screen behind me. This is connected to a client machine and this client machine has two inputs. I am controlling that machine with my director, which is a laptop right now. And it's the idea of piping back in the ice stream into Pixera and to be able to preview it here um, before switching. So let me dive into Pixera and show you. So first of all, I created this screen. It's a 65 inch. We mapped it to the right output, which is the screen behind me. And in the compositing tab, we added two timelines, one background timeline, which is showing me this background, which you can see popping up behind me. And another timeline with four cues, um, one with just the backgrounds with nothing black, another one showing a right pip, another one with the left pip, and another one with both pips. So I can show you this behind me. Those are the two videos I uh, have on my input side on the client. The problem is that now in my UI, as you can see, we don't see any preview. So when I go and check my resources, uh, we go to resources on the left hand side, uh, check live inputs, and these are the two inputs we've added. When we select it on the right hand side in the inspector, we can enable the show in preview feature. We can do that for both of them. And as you can see now, they immediately pop up in our UI as a preview. So what we see in the UI now, that's um, an NDI feed coming from the client machine, piped back to my director unit. This is all handled internally by Pixera. The only thing to worry about here is that our network has enough overhead to deal with this and the resources on your director and on the client machine are sufficient to um, code and encode, uh, so encode and decode this in the ISP. Um, next, when you're in a live situation um, and let's say we're on the background and we want to switch to a live input source, picture in picture, um, yeah, we don't know if this um, source is available. We don't, we don't have any preview of it. We don't see it in our software. So we actually don't know anything about it. There is a feature in Pixera to have the preview bus where we can hover over it and then we get in Pixera the preview of them. But this is not always used, especially not if you're just live cutting with buttons. So what I wanted to do, let's switch back to our main um, cursor. So what I wanted to do now is show you how to add a multi-viewer inside of Pixera. So we, it's a trick, it's nothing special, it's just a small trick. We can add two virtual monitors. We don't connect them to any output source. Then we can add another timeline. Let's call it preview. So preview. And when we're in that timeline, we will just add on every monitor one of the sources and whenever I go over them now, we have a virtual preview monitor in our UI. We can then make a quick queue for it, call it also preview and a pause marker. So this will always stop on the right moment. So done. I made a small touch um, interface in control, which has a few buttons, a few presets we can trigger and also make the automatic transition between the queues. So first of all, let's jump to our background. And from that one, we can say, okay, let's pipe in the right pip in the screen above me. And you will see it coming up. Then we can go back to the background, for example, and get the other picture in picture. in. So that being said, this is all working now. And we always have a preview of our sources in our UI. This is just a small tip and trick we wanted to share with you stay tuned for more don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and um, like this video thank you very much cheers